Good morning, family. I am here at the Ritchie Brothers auction in Houston, Texas. Uh, just doing a little bit of window shopping, trying to see what's out here. I'm getting a feel for it. They pretty much got a little bit of everything. Um, dooleys, all kind of equipment out here. Just got to be careful with these auctions because um, I think there was a saleswoman, the top saleswoman at Select Trucks in Atlanta said that pretty much these are the trucks that don't nobody want. Not, not even the dealership want to deal with them. So definitely got to be careful. Um, I've seen some potential good trucks out here. Actually, here's all the freight liners and stuff over here. And I saw a good dually over there, 350. Of course, the body looks a little, you know, beat up because they had tore it up. But I crunk it up. It sounded really good. Um, most of these trucks are going to have three, four, five, six, seven hundred thousand miles on them. And of course, it's going to need a little bit of work. So pretty much the warranties are out. So I'm going to stop the video here and take you inside a few pieces and go from there. I do like this white freight liner right here. Um, I just haven't, I'm not walking over there because I think the APU is on and it's really, really loud. But that's a nice looking uh, freight liner. All the tires look good. It looks a little funky under the hood. Uh, let's see, that's what really matters. I'm gonna go over here for a second. don't smell too good on the inside you know but oh this one look good wow. that looks brand new right there this ain't too bad right here all right let's check out the inside this is a freightliner cascadia i believe Let's see, this is an old Penske truck. So I think Penske keeps up with their maintenance pretty good. Penske truck out of Georgia. Let me look back here first while I hop in. Oh God. Of course, Cosmetically, it's not going to be the most appealing. Let's see, crank it up. This one right here won't even crank, y'all. Hold on. Got 800,000 miles on it. Damn. Yeah, this ain't the one right here. I can't even get the key to turn. Yeah, I'm good on that. Let me get on out of here. Get on up out of here. Let's go look at some trailers, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna take you to go look at these dualies. Then we're gonna look at some trailers. All right, so over here we have some Ram 3500s, um, Silverados. My, honestly, I would love a Ram 3500, <laughs> low key. Like it's like one of my dream trucks. Um, it is gonna definitely need some air in the tires or need the tires replaced. A little beat up on the inside. That just means they was making some good money. Um, let's see, crank it up. Yep. Shampoo the seats. Nice little 
little money maker for my flat belters. That air feel real good too. Nice little money maker. Let's see here. Excuse my nails, y'all. Got the 2011. Three hundred and two thousand miles. My dream, dream truck. Ate up up there, but it's not a problem. There's some little cosmetic stuff. But yeah, like they said, you know, bring your mechanic out here with you. Um, so you don't walk into a money eater. They also have a lot of these these type trucks. <laughs> a lot of different types of equipment up here, you know. It's not just 18 wheelers or semi tractors. Not all types of equipment. 